Hello everyone. Welcome back to We The Travelers, where we bring you unfiltered travel information. Today, we're exploring the iconic Angkor Wat, nestled in the heart of Cambodia, with a complete three-day itinerary to help you experience the temples in all their glory. Before we dive into the itinerary, let's cover the ticket options. You can get a one-day, three-day, or seven-day pass to the Angkor Archaeological Park. We have a dedicated video on how to book tickets on our channel, so feel free to check it out. Today's itinerary will focus on a three-day experience, but I'll also mention how it can be condensed for a single-day visit. Let's get started. Tip. I recommend renting a scooter a day before you begin temple hopping. It's a fantastic way to explore at your own pace. Tuk-tuks are also available, but a scooter gives you that extra freedom. Day 1. Angkor Wat and the Small Circuit. 1. Angkor Wat Temple. Start your day bright and early at 5 a.m. to catch the sunrise. Angkor Wat Main Prang opens at 6.40 a.m. Spend some time exploring the Main Prang, and then move to your next stop. 2. Ben Temple. This temple is famous for its massive, enigmatic stone faces. 3. Terrace of Elephants. Close to Bern, this terrace was used by King Jayavarman VII to greet his returning army. Spend a few minutes soaking in its history. For Tom Manon and Chao Se Tevoda. When I visited, this was a quiet spot, perfect for a break to snack, hydrate, and appreciate these ancient marvels. 5. Ta Kiyo. A striking pyramid-style temple made entirely of sandstone, built around 975 AD. 6. Ta Prom. Known as the Tomb Raider Temple, due to its appearance in the film, this 12th-century temple is intertwined with a massive banyan tree, a true highlight of Angkor, and one of my personal favorites. 7. Bantik Dai. Known as the Citadel of Monk Cells, this temple shares architectural elements with Bern. By now, it's likely around noon, so head back to Siem Reap for lunch and a much-needed break. In the evening, unwind by exploring the vibrant streets of Siem Reap. If you're on a one-day ticket, consider visiting some temples from day two after lunch. Day two. The Grand Circuit. Start this day around 6 or 7 a.m. If you're on a one-day ticket, you can cover these temples after lunch. These temples can take around four hours to explore. 1. Pre Khan. Built by King Jayavarman VII in the 12th century to honor his father, this sprawling temple once had 100,000 servants. 2. Neek Peen. A beautiful, small temple surrounded by water, known as the Temple of the Dragon King. 3. Ta Som. Often referred to as Tomb Raider 2, it features a banyan tree growing through its structure. 4. East Meban. Built in the 10th century and dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. 5. Pre Rup. A mountain style pyramid temple from 961 AD. Climbing to the top for sunset here is a fantastic way to end the day, especially if you're on a one day ticket. 6. Panum Krom. For those with a three-day ticket, return to your accommodation to recharge. Later, take a scooter ride to Phnom Krom, about 30 minutes from Siem Reap. You can either ride to the top or hike partway up. The sunset from this lesser-known temple on a hill is breathtaking and well worth the journey. Day 3. Choose your adventure. If you are templed out, you can take your day slow. If not I will list down some of the temples you can visit on your third day. Later I will tell you what I did on my third day. 1. Banti Sri. Located a bit outside of town, but worth the drive for its intricate carvings. 2. Banti Samre. Named after the Samre, an ancient people of Indochina, was built in the early 12th century. 3. Roluo's Group. 
These 9th century temples were part of the ancient town of Haraharalaya, predating the main Angkor Wat temples. 4. Bang Mae Ali. Known as the Jungle Temple, it's completely overgrown and about an hour and a half from Siem Reap. For more variety, you could also explore smaller temples like Fimianakas and Bafuon, just off the main circuit. Now coming to my third day in Angkor Wat. I visited the main Angkor Wat temple again just to enjoy the beautiful sunrise, enjoyed a peaceful breakfast back in town, packed my bags, and was off to my next adventure. Experiencing Angkor Wat was a privilege, and I hope this guide will enhance your visit too. If you'd like more travel content like this, please hit subscribe. A single click from you makes a world of difference for me. Thank you, and happy travels.